What's going on guys, Tomcat here, and today I'm bringing you guys another episode of Need for Speed Most Wanted. Now in this episode, I'm going to be driving the Aerial Atom, which was very highly requested on my Facebook page. I put up a post asking you guys what cars you wanted to see, and this one was very highly requested. So, I'm going to go ahead and see what races I can do with it, and then what else I can do with it afterwards. <laughs> um, definitely want to do the easy um, easy race so we can get the, uh, we can get the Nitrous for it, because that's definitely... I'd say that's definitely the most important first upgrade, in my opinion, for most cars. Most cars. Not all of them need it right off the bat because they're just that fast. But, oh my god. This is weird. <laughs> Somebody turned anti-gravity mode on. I remember the first time I saw this intro, I thought the game was glitched. But, I mean, even though... It's actually not glitched, it's just an intro, but I will I will admit, the very first time I saw that intro, I thought the game was glitched, completely glitched out, and I was like, oh my god, what, what's going on? Oh, did I almost land on somebody? I think I did. Or almost did. Out of the way. Yep, there, whoa god, there's a van there. Huge crash! Yeah, and then I had one. This, I always seem to crash in this little underpass area for some reason. No! Yeah, he took me out. Come on. This thing does sound really good, though. Oh my god, that was a ba big crash back there. Bad crash. Dang it, another traffic car. I didn't even see him. It's like he came out of nowhere. Come on, out of the way, Bach Mono. Or BAC Mono, however you want to say it. I love that car, the BAC Mono. I mean, the only thing... The only thing... That, oh, God! The only thing that's wrong with that car, and, well, not really wrong with it, but I'd say one of the drawbacks is you can't, uh... You can't have... You can't take a friend with you and, like, and freak him out because the thing is so fast, but... That's what's cool about the Aerial Atom, is that you can... You can go crazy fast, and you can have a friend with you to freak out at the same time. Oh, God. Ugh. Dang, that was so close. But, yeah, I would still... I mean, if somebody, like, you know, said, here's a Bach Mono or BAC Mono, I wouldn't... I wouldn't think twice about taking it. Come on, and cross the line in first. Off-road tires, which I won't use. I definitely won't use. Uh, but I definitely will use the Burn Nitrous. Uh, Off-road tires, absolutely not. The only, uh, let's see, the only thing I've ever used off-road tires for, I think, is the Ford Raptor. Maybe the Range Rover Evoke as well, but mm, definitely, I don't think I've used it for anything other than those two vehicles. Let's test this nitrous out real quick. On a jump, come on now. Get in a straight line, get in a straight line, boost! Boom! Oh my god, actually, that went farther than I thought it would. Okay, turn around and see what other races I have. Let's see. Crush Hour. Uh, ooh, that gives us lightweight chassis. Um, that's a circuit race. And a smash and grab. Ooh, that should actually be really fun with this thing. Because it's so light and nimble, it should actually be really, really good for this. And... Oh, I was going to upload another episode of Grid 2. I had another episode already recorded um, after the one that I had, uh, after my latest one. But it was so full of fails that I didn't even want to, uh, oh god, that I didn't want to upload it. And what I want to do actually is I want to um, basically... I mean, by not uploading that episode, you guys really aren't missing out on anything uh, except for seeing me crash and fail repeatedly so it's definitely i don't think it, it i didn't think it was that entertaining of an episode so i'm going to basically make a new episode and go from there because i think once i once i get warmed up to grid 2 i'm really good you know once i warm up my driving skills i'm decent at the game but when i don't warm up my driving skills beforehand i'm terrible at it so i want to redo um not redo that episode, because you can't really redo Let's Play episodes, but I think I want to kind of skip over that episode, because there's, number one, nothing important really happened in that episode, and number two, 
I just don't find it very, I, or didn't find it very entertaining, and, I mean, I, I always prefer to upload the most entertaining content that I can, and if a video isn't entertaining, then chances are I'm, I'm just not going to upload it, so I'm going to basically go on to a new episode of Grid 2 and hopefully film some more episodes of that that, <laughs> that aren't full of fails. And I really, really, really want to get to the uh, the races in Japan because I think those are the best uh, best races. I've done some of those tracks online, and oh my god, they are amazing! I oh my god, I love driving those tracks, and I can't wait to drive them in career mode because I, the toge tracks, the drift tracks, they're all absolutely sweet. And plus, since I have the drift pack, I'll be able to whoa! I'll be able to use the cars from the drift pack. Uh, to my advantage in the drift events, so I'm really excited to get to that point in the career. Drift tires unlocked for the Aerial Atom. Can't wait to try these out. The Aerial Atom actually drifts more than, more than you would think. It's a better drift vehicle than you would think, but I mean, with drift tires, it just goes sideways forever. <laughs> just basically forever. This thing... Uh, never stops drifting. In fact, is there a drift attack that I can do? Please tell me there is. That's a circuit, speed, circuit, speed, ambush, and circuit. Dang it! There is no drift attack for the aerial atom. Wow. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this speed run, though. Because the speed run is like the next best thing to a drift attack. Drift attacks are my favorite, and then speed runs are my, like, second favorite type of event. Because speedruns are just really high energy and really high action races. Skip. Thank you. Come on, load already. Thank you. Alright, gotta get it up to 120 miles per hour average. That shouldn't be too hard. As long as we... Whoa! As long as I can get out of that dirt, which I have now. Come on, come on. Ooh! That was really close. Dang it, I just dropped below gold. Oh wait, I'm in gold again? Oh my god. Keep it above 120 average. Ooh, dang it. That's gonna ruin my average. That's gonna ruin my average right there. Well, it didn't ruin it that much, but it still put a big dent in it. Oh my god. Drifted way too far. Drift Tires Pro, thank you, but that... Oh god, that's not what I'm interested in right now. Interested in keeping the speed average up. I think I can salvage this run, but I don't know. I got one mile to go, and I have to get my average all the way back up to 120, so I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Come on. Come on, 114. Come on. Nope. We're gonna crash. Not gonna be able to do it. Gotta restart that one. Stop moving. Thank you. So basically, I think the key to this event is just don't crash. <laughs> but I mean, isn't that the key to every event? But seriously, don't crash. I just have to focus on not crashing. And if I focus on not crashing, then I should be good to go. I'm in silver already. Come on. Off the dirt. Out of the wall. Ugh. Whoa. Across the sides of the highway. Dang it. There's always a traffic car there. Always a traffic car there. Ugh. Come on, Excel. Oh my god, stupid truck. Oh, oh, gotta go through the repair shop. Nitrous refill. There we go. Come on. Come on, come on. Less than a mile and a half to go. And I have to work it all the way back up to 120 average. Come on, it's going up pretty fast now, so I think we've got it. No! Dang it! I don't know if I can get it back now. 
Okay. Ugh. God, it seems so simple, or like it would be so simple. And it is, it is a simple event. But at the same time, it's not. I think I can get it this time, though, because I know I have a sort of a general idea where the traffic cars are going to be. And that's really what really gets you in these events. These speed runs are the traffic cars. And the traffic cars are so freaking annoying. Alright, come on, get focused. Uh, didn't go well. Come on, get the average up. Close to gold now. Gotta avoid the traffic cars. Oh my god, that was crazy. Dang it. Stupid traffic cars, jeez. What was that? God, the average is dropping. Why am I screwing this up so much? Dang. One and a half miles. I think I can get it back, though. As long as I keep my actual speed really high, I can get my average back up. And as long as I don't crash as well. Silver. Come on, come on. So close. Uh, uh, oh my god. That was too close. Holy crap. Oh, really? You had to drive right in front of me. Right in front of me. God. Drift tires helped me out back there. Wow, silver. I'm actually happy with the with that run though because that's that's a really hard speed run. That's a really hard speed run, and I think whether or not you do well on that speed run is kind of down to getting um really, but kind of down to how lucky you are with the traffic car spawns. Because if traffic cars are spawning all over the place, then you've got no chance. But if the traffic car spawns are kind of uh kind of light then you've got a pretty good chance of being able to make it because basically the number one reason why you're not gonna why you're not gonna win that challenge is uh the traffic cars but i think i should do one more event though one more event mm, i want to do a sprint race are there any no <laughs> no there are no sprint races um i should do this ambush that should be fun. Ambush events are always fun. Best is 55 seconds. Let's see if I can beat that. I don't know if I'm going to beat it, though. The only way I could beat it that fast is if something, like, really crazy happened and I was able to just lose the cops almost instantly. Ugh. Oh, God. That doesn't go anywhere. No. 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 Around, go, 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 go. Get down, back down into the park. Holy crap, they're following me. I mean, like, they're actually following me through these jumps and stuff. Make it. There we go. They can't follow me off of all the jumps, though. Jumps screw them up real bad. Come on. Come on. Ah, uh, he made it. Oh, drift tires really helping me out back there. Really, really helping me out, actually. I didn't beat my best time. Oh, God, there's a roadblock. Really? I thought I'd slowed down enough to kind of bounce off the roadblock, but I guess not. Oh! Uh, come on! Oh, I'm almost... I'm, I'm about to get away. About to... Actually, no. They're catching up. Never mind. Come on. Get back into the park. Can't follow me off of this jump. I mean, they could, but they'd screw themselves up. Oh, God. That was almost really bad. 
Dang it, they've saw they've seen me again. Oh, about to get away. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, two more spawned in. Are you serious? Are you serious? Right where I was gonna get away, two more spawned in. That's just cheap. They're coming from all directions. It's like there's nowhere to go. Dang it, up to level four heat. This is not good. Especially not for a car like this that's got a lot of, um, or actually, excuse me, doesn't have a lot of uh, body protection on it at all. I mean, it's not the strongest car in the world, definitely. I can't believe I just drove right past that cop and he didn't even notice. All right, shut the engine down. Think I'm good to go. As long as they don't drive right through here. Like that one cop is doing. Oh, God. Okay, he turned around. Woo! That was crazy. That was really, really crazy. Really crazy. I, there was some close calls in there where I thought I was going to get busted for sure. Uh, reinforced chassis, don't need it. But, uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed that episode with the Ariel Adam, don't forget to hit the like button. Tell me in the comments down below what you thought of it. Suggest cars that I haven't made a video of yet. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one.